Hey guys, what's up? Um, it's, uh, T Mac edits or Tyler. I got another tutorial for you, and today it's going to be on like how like um it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, but like how like the black bars come and squish together as you shoot. It's like crunch is kind of the screen. I'll show you. Um, East that terminal. I'll just take it. Right there. See how it like right here? It like like, like right here it squishes and it like the screen's kind of like an orangey and all that and then the yeah. Uh, I'll just teach you how to do that. Okay. So open up your After Effects and oh, open up your After Effects and port a clip. Just a sec. I only have two clips really. Okay, so or actually no, cancel. Let me import. Here. So we got just import this, and what you want to do, I um, just right click new solid, and make it a black solid. It's really simple. If you're an advanced editor, you should have known this, but a lot of people don't. So just make two black solids. So you got two, and now just. Uh, make these one visible for now and go to your shot where you shoot um, so right there and then just control control them both and then alt and op uh, like right bracket thing it's like the bracket that has like a little squiggle in the middle. So just, yeah, I'll hit that and I'll cut it to right there. So now nothing happens and then, yeah. So, so now what we're going to do is make them visible. And now you just got the black thing. So just zoom out to like 25%. And um, just drag it so it's like this, and just drag them like that, and like that. And because the shot is right here, you want it to start out like this. So just drag it, and then you can also make it rotate. So just hit P and keyframe them until you got a good spot. Say this is good enough for me, and then just hit R. Oops, and then R. And maybe you want to rotate them a bit to like that. Not like that. Oops. Shit. Just rotate it a little bit maybe. So like that. And then just go to like a little bit ahead to like there. And hit the rotation to zero. And then go to position. And just drag one at a time. Just drag it back out. Yeah. So now if we quickly RAM preview this, it looks like this. Okay. You, okay you. So yeah, usually I'm going to make it a bit closer together. I'm going to put it like that and then just whoops what the fuck and then just drag whoops and then just drag them a bit farther so now we got that and then so we got that done and if you wanted the clip to turn like different color um what we can do the rotation part didn't work but you get the point you just here, I'll quickly fix it. Well, 
So now we got just ramp for you one more time. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. And now you want to make another solid and make it a uh, color to your choice. I'll just do a light bluish like this, a light blue like that. And just hit OK. And if you have it over top and just hit T for opacity and drag it, the and then go like to the black bar part. As you see, it also covers the black bar. So what you want to do is drag it under the black bars and above the clip. So it's just doing the clip. So it's like that. It's like... And then just... Click on the clip, hit Alt, and then the close squiggle bracket to do that. And then just cut it up. So now it's just boom, and then it stops. Or you can make it fade out by going opacity. Click it like halfway, and then go to the end. Make it zero. And now what we want to do... Let me see what time. Six minutes. Oh, shit. Okay, gotta wrap this up. Um, and then you can also add shit like optics compensation. Or, I won't do that, but I'll do CC vector. Vector blur. Drag it onto the clip for this. And then just drag it to like, like that. And then the rigid smoothness, drag that a bit. And then just put it up to like zero once the bars disappear. So, uh, and then I'm just gonna throw a quick, quick color correction. Like really fast. And also my next tutorial, I'll either be doing uh, 2D motion tracking or uh, OCE breakdown. How to make an OCE. I think I'm going to do a 2D motion track though, just because it's a bit easier. Let's just see real quick. Seven minutes. Okay, just slap on a color correction. That's not bad. I'll just put that on just for this part. And now just let's just RAM preview it real quick. Oh, whoops, just let me put this on half, no, a third. And then after, you usually want to put Twixter right when the, like, 1200 pops up, just to give it a little poppage. So now we're going to do That's one way, and then you can also make it so gradually gets bigger. So it like starts out gradually, and then it's like pop. This is like the popping way. It just like poof, and then it happens the other way. You get gradually, and yeah. So this has been Swing Vegas edit, our T Mac edits, and Tyler. Peace out, guys.